this incredible beach, you know, unspoiled that nobody knew about. But I asked, whatever you do, don't tell people. We all come to party. Moon, moon party. It's the beach that I had been at with thousands and thousands of people. It was staggering. Tourism should have never been allowed to take place the way it did. It was anarchy. Where's all the plastic gonna go? Where's the waste gonna go? Where are people gonna go to the bathroom? What is our environmental footprint? What is our impact on the very cultures that we're visiting? There had been a kind of backpacker lore about a traveler who discovered this beach, this amazing beach in Thailand. You know, that backpacker lore it was kind of, you know, this, this, the gossip of the backpacker trail is of course what inspired eventually the book, The Beach, which mm -hmm. was a fictional story, and then eventually the movie based on that. I'm the guy who the backpacker lore of The Beach was based on, yes. I was the first known traveler to reach, um, you know, to reach Koh Phangan. And Peggy, the director of the film, said, do you, do you have any proof of that, any evidence of that? And I provided her with some of the still shots that I took, which are now featured in the film Gringo Trails. There was no plan in southern Thailand or many parts of the world in the late 70s. And there was no plan for Koh Phangan. It was an explosion of tourism. No one was thinking what the impacts would be. No one was talking about zoning or how to develop this in such a way that local people aren't marginalized, their culture isn't insulted, etc. And it got out of control. That is what the story of, of Koh Phangan is. Cancun is another poster child for tourism that was developed poorly. In the last few years, President Calderon had said to me, you know, well, you know, Costas, we, we did this in the 70s. You know, nobody was talking about sustainable tourism. Nobody was talking about ecotourism. These concepts didn't exist. You know, what are we going to do? We've got 25,000 hotel rooms on Cancun Island now. You know, we can't just plow it all under. But the answer is, well, we don't have to make the same mistakes. Now, what they've learned from Cancun is not to repeat that in what's called the Maya Riviera, the area south of Cancun and Tulum. Does it mean it's perfect? No, it doesn't mean it's perfect. But what it means is that they have put in place some very positive lessons learned from Cancun to ensure the same mistakes don't happen in the Maya Riviera. And at the same time, are taking steps in Cancun to improve tourism's impact, help change it to a positive. We have the opportunity, we can't always turn back the hand of time, but we can certainly help repair the damage and make sure that future damage to new destinations doesn't happen again.